Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to be reviewing brand new from Ellen Villa, Nerano, in the color Middle Gray Shaded. I will also be comparing it to two other colors, one from Tressalore and one from John Renault. As soon as Wig Studio One announced the release of four new style from Ellen Villa from the Maddox collection, right away I had to order Nerano because I just thought it was a perfect little bob for the summer. And I know I say that lots. I will be having a video up showing my favorite summer styles and I know that Nerano is going to be included. This color I have never tried before. This is Metal Gray Shaded. So we're going to talk about the color and I'm also going to do a short comparison for you on the uh, three-tone gray from Tress Allure as well as 39F38 from John Renault. The colors are very similar. I'll tell you what's the same and what's different. This style, we have a left mono part and we have a lace front. Nice, beautiful, wispy, traditional fibers. So, so pretty. I just took it out of the box and just gave it a shake. So the part is appearing a little bit dense, but I haven't, um, uh, I haven't fooled with it much. I haven't done anything to it. I think some of the zigzag is still there, but I wanted to show you what it looked like right out of the box. I will probably apply some steam. And once I start separating those fibers, you know, pulling them apart like that, then the, the part will look a little bit more natural, but I wanted to point it out to you. Ellen Villa does an incredible job with the lace fronts. Beautiful, beautiful lace front. And on this color, we have the lighter fibers going across the front. We have great coverage. Here is the ear tab and here is my hairline. Again, here is the ear tab and my hairline. A while back, I, I think um, maybe a few years ago, Ellen Villa was really considered a petite average size and that the styles ran a little bit shorter. And while there are some styles or some collections, there are a few collections in Ellen Villa that do run petite average or even petite, the majority of the Ellen Villa collections will fit an average size. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference. My ear to ear is 12.25 and my front to back is 12 and a half. This from the Modix collection, I, I can't remember how many I have, four or five. I feel they all run true average. I have to cinch them in just a little bit and that to me is an indication that it will, it, it's, if it's average. So if you have a little bit uh, larger circumference than I do, uh, probably a 21 and three quarters, even a 22, you should be able to fit into Nerano. However, I really have no way of gauging that. I could only speak of this particular one that I'm wearing and just me gauging by what I, by how much I cinched it in. That's all I have. And I want to make sure I let you know that. Nerano has a front of eight and a half inches. My face from hairline to chin is seven and three quarters. So it just falls just slightly below my chin. The crown is ten and a half. The sides are seven and a half and the nape is three and a half. So even if you have a low hairline, as I do, I don't think you'll have any problems whatsoever with Nerano. Just such a pretty style. We don't have any permatease on Nerano. And the weight on it is 3.2 ounces. We have a nice light density. 
but even though we have this light density, I feel that we have it has a lot of body. It doesn't the shape on it is beautiful. We don't have a flat falling bob. We have a nice rounded bob if that's something that you like. I think it's so flattering. I don't feel the front flops in my face at all. Can certainly tuck it. Matches my hair. We could wear it with a headband. All right, let's talk a little bit about this color. This is 38, 48, 36. So we have a light, according to Ellen Villa, this is a blended color of a light brown and a smoky gray shaded with dark roots. While I do agree that this is a light brown, I have to add that this is a light ash brown, which is your 38. That darker brown, that light brown, the brown is definitely a light ash brown. It's not a warm, there is no warmth in this color. We also, the smoky gray, we have it right at the front. So we have those lighter fibers coming on the front. I think the color is absolutely gorgeous. I think that if you are a, a lighter brunette and you are transitioning to grays, 38 is a great color to go with because it's, it's very ashy. We have that gray blended into it without being totally gray. This is 39F38 from John Renault. And as you can see, it's a it's an ashy color. It's an ash light brown blended with the gray. We don't have the lighter fibers on the front as we do with uh, metal gray shaded. But as far as the ash, it's very it's that's what it it's that 38 that we're seeing. Also on 39 F38, we don't have a dark root as we do middle gray shaded. If you like something a little bit lighter, you may want to go with the John Renault 39 F38. I think closer to the middle gray shaded from Ellen Villa is going to be the three toned gray from Tressalore because we have the lighter gray fibers around the front and we have that ash color blended in. The color code for three-toned gray from Tressalore is 5238498. Once again, we have that 38 blended in, which is the light, the light ash brown. One difference that we have with the uh, three-toned gray is that we have the darker fibers, that eight, down at the bottom at the nape. And our root, is go it blends in nicely. So I think that if you like this uh, metal gray shaded and you need a style that may perhaps runs a little bit larger than the 22 inch, but you like this color, Tressalore's three-toned gray would be the way to go because it's it's pretty pretty close. I would say it's not an it's not exactly and we do have more gray on the front but they are pretty close. Right now I'm wearing the three-toned gray from Tressalore and I am going to show you the cap to Nerano. We have a lace front and a, and a left mono part and it's all one piece. There is no strip dividing the lace and the left part. The lace front is temple to temple, felt covered ear tabs, a non-extended nape and Velcro adjusters. 
and we have a nice stretch to the cap. There, are, as I mentioned, there is no permatease in, in Nerano. Here is a little bit closer look. Right now I'm wearing L by John Renault in the color 39 F38. I am going to slip back into Nerano and we'll take a walk outside so you can see middle gray shaded out in the daylight. Thank you everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Please let me know what you think about Norano from Ellen Villa. Is this a cute style or what? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.